So this is um, Interior Worlds, something I played already, but there was a big update that I missed for um, a forest. And after playing Pacific Drive, I remembered this and I thought to myself, you know what? I'm in the mood to explore some woods. This was an excellent game. And um, there was even like a little vine shroom fella in it. But yeah, we gotta we gotta go to the woods. So you'll notice I did all of these. Um, and then there's two down here. I don't know what's going on there, but forest apparently is massive. There was a vine sauce arcade room, yeah. And a little mini game and everything. It was it was awesome. It was absolutely incredible. But that's not why I'm playing this. I actually like really like the game as well. And like I said, Pacific Drive. Wait, is that Trenton, New Jersey? Pacific Drive kind of um, got me in the mood to explore woods. I don't remember 100% how to play this. I mean, I think I do. Right? Like that. You just walk around and... Perfect setting for a horror game, New Jersey. Yeah. It's the Pine Barrens, chat. Christopher and Polly Walnuts were in there eating ketchup packets. To me, this is like... If you're gonna do like a PS1 type style, I like this the best. Because it doesn't try to recreate the PS1 100%. It just is kind of in the spirit of. Focal length. Railway trail camping. We want to go to... Let's go to trail first. There's a lot of X's on, on that. Huh. I wonder if there's a secret of some kind. Um, I would like to unlock those two other areas too, so if any chat members know how to do that, let me know. Oh, waterfall ghost. Oh, look at that. Chat, look at the photo. There's like a demon in the waterfall. Melpert, we got Dev in chat. Is there really? Soda, are you here? I don't see. Maybe. Uh, uh, chat's scrolling up pretty quickly. Yeah, there's another X over there. Huh. Oh, there's the, there's the dev. Okay. Well, welcome to the stream. I'm trying to figure out um, how to unlock those extra things that you have in the game. But also, there's um, yeah, there's a lot of X's on these trees. Mulport? I 
I like the again. I like this this vibe. I don't. I don't think it's supposed to be Trenton, New Jersey, but could it also be Pacific Northwest? I can't tell by the trees alone. You see the specter. I've always wanted to do urban exploration, but I would be too afraid to find aliens. Hell yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is that? <gasps> Marshanito. I mean, how could you not love this game? It's got ghosts, it's got... Oh, I, I'm sorry, Dev. I may have found a glitch. It's got ghosts, it's got aliens, it's got liminal malls. I have been, in some cases, near or at playgrounds. in my life, so I can relate. It's true. I was a kid, but playgrounds can be spooky when it's the winter. Someone said, I don't believe it. Oh. Well, also, when you're a teenager, you go to a playground to smoke pot. Is that... <laughs> anyone? No? Oh, shit. Chat refuses to believe Vinny was a kid. Many, many years ago. And in that time, I learned how to play Super Mario World. But I think that's one of the reasons why I didn't end up doing more adventurous stuff. Like Miyamoto as a child went into a cave, and then he invented Zelda the very next day. Whereas for me... You know, I, I was just busy playing Zelda. Where's the... where's the alien? Ah, oh, there you are, I see you. Can't get too close to this one. Is there another alien? Why is this all weird? Huh. Yeah, the screen is getting kind of scrummy. Oh, I think maybe there's a ghost in, inside the train. We'll find. Hang on a minute. I have an idea. This is a really cool environment, though. This, this is, um... Kind of reminds me of a Counter-Strike map. Oh, that's what the red X's are for, I think. I'm not sure. It is my only line of defense against the Martianitos. I 
I would not fucking do this. No way. Oh, God. What's going on here? I got a bloody VHS. Uh, v yeah. There's some videos of, um, that dude who camped in the roundabout. Sorry, Zot. This is as far as I'll get when it comes to urban exploration. Uh, yeah, the roundabout camping guy, Steve Wallace, who, like, slept in an empty subway car in the middle of the woods. And it's just, like, rusty and, like, gross and mold and fungus. And I'm like... Interesting concept for a YouTube video, but yeah, you wouldn't- you wouldn't catch me doing that shit. Aliens love that shit. They do, yeah. I mean, aliens are just waiting for people to enter empty subway cars in the middle of the woods. That's when they- they strike. They know. We come. Well, yeah, some of us do. It's like we're not going in there yet. Well, it's not just, like, aliens that I'm afraid of. It's malignant... spirits. And worms. Someone just said teenagers. Yeah, I fear them as well. Crackheads? <laughs> I mean, if you're gonna... If you're gonna phrase it like that, chat member. It is something that you kind of do need to worry about. Used needles. I mean, there's probably an infinite number of reasons why you shouldn't uh, camp out in an empty subway car in the middle of the woods. You know, among other places. But let's say that's like number one do not... Aliens, of course, are the primary reason. Let's see. Alright, so I still don't have a key. Big ghost. What about crackhead aliens, chat? Those guys are chill? Oh. Well, that's why it's nice to have video games like this, so you can do your urban exploration from your computer. Gray Leno? No, I don't think he's a, he, he's not a crackhead. Scabies, maybe, but... Uh, I think... So I have the axe. I think I'm gonna look for spots to use it. Maybe it's back here? Also, uh, Visions of Mana, Mana, whatever, they're releasing, like, a new trailer, uh, once a month, and they released one. It's, like, a pretty short one. Looks good. 
I, for one, am hoping that that game is good. It will be whelming. We can hope it will whelm greatly. Will you be playing Sandland? I'm, I'm thinking about it. Thinking about it. I'm not sure. Depends on what I'm streaming at the time, but it does look good. And there was like already a review of it. There's a demo. Oh yeah, I forgot about that demo. No trespassing violators will be... Rusticated. This has got very, uh, very good atmospheric sounds. Um, if you've watched my video for the temple song, which I didn't do the video for. That was Eagle in Your Mind, but I did film a lot of it. Not, well, half of it, half of it, for uh, one of our Redbox songs. That was me exploring an abandoned location. It wasn't at night, but it was, um, it was creepy. Because it went, like, it was like an abandoned fort, and, ooh. And, um, there was some, like, weird graffiti message on one of the walls inside of a very spidery, dank, damp part of this fort. And, uh, but chat, what did it say? Do you remember? There was, like, some message I ended the video on. It was like you were about to die or something like that, right? It was like, you're exploring creepy caverns. I didn't go in too deep, but I, I did, you know, I kept kind of like looking and peeking my head in. And then I, I was like, all right, fuck it. I'm going to go in a little bit more, a little bit more. And then I saw you were about to die or something. When the sky falls, I will be full of regrets. That was one of them. There was something about dying. There was also that. I like graffiti like that better than just like, I don't know, like a dick at the end of a hallway. I feel like if you're going to do some, you know, like cryptic messages, put them in the fucking creepiest place you can find really cook something up, like, kind of frightening, so that the person that finds it, who's already shitting their pants from the location, can just be like, oh, I've made a terrible mistake, haven't I? Get some dime balls in there while you're at it, too. Did that work? No, I don't think it's gonna work. All right, let's let's get let's get in there. Let's check it out. There's a graffiti in a town I visit by a pizza place that goes, God is coming, after some other motherfucker went and wrote to bring donut smiley face after it. Huh. Here is the graffiti. You found it. Yep. You are about to die. Yeah, that was a fun piece of graffiti to find. In a spot that... 
I was like, this place smells like mold. Someone said, would you explore Chernobyl if given the chance? No, I mean, we have video games for that. The exclusion zone is fascinating, and I wouldn't mind watching... I've watched some people's videos on it, but I don't know if I'd want to actually be there in person. What the hell? Why does the camera do this? Why, why, why is the... Why is this happening? Maybe that's why? Yeah. Ornate camera filter. I didn't even capture the ghost. Um, Soda Raptor, if you're here, I saw some uh, footage of your next game that you're working on, and it looks, the animations look very fluid. So keep up the good work. Key. The Dipole. so dark down here. A number station. If someone was able to make poo taste like a gourmet Italian meal, would you try a small slice of it? That's that's enough chat. That, that's enough uh, reading chat. I can see I've answered too many of your questions tonight. And it has emboldened you to ask poo gourmet questions. Chat, did I... Was that lightning? Oh, 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 the filter gets, like, oh, I see, it's, it's like, there's grunge filter that is applied over it. Oh. Alien living in a trailer, in a van down by the river. Yes, Snake, Duendes. 
They're everywhere, Snake. And where you least expect them. Vinny, how many guitar picks have you lost in your life? That's an interesting question. I've said before, it would be nice to, at the end of your life, get statistics of, like, how many socks you've lost, for example. You know, like, how much money you've lost in a couch. Like, you just get, like, an end screen, and you can, like, see all the statistics. Um... I'm gonna say, when it comes to guitar picks... Hundreds. I say hundreds. Where do they come from? Where do they go? Probably close to a hundred. I wouldn't say hundreds, but like, yeah, somewhere in the 100 region. I don't even know how that's fucking possible. Someone said, I don't like using a pick, I just use my thumbnail. Whatever's comfortable, you know, some people... ...use their- look at, um, Lindsey Buckingham from Fleetwood Mac. Dude uses his fingles. It depends on how you play, too. Ooh. Different play styles can benefit from different ways of picking, not using a, a plectrum if you will. But, uh, the way I play my guitar, I, I use a guitar pick 99% of the time. It's just, you know, I don't have fingernails, really, because I bite my fingers. Bite my nails. And, um, that's a bit of a problem for stuff like playing big chords, strumming them heavily. How many guitars have you lost? I lost the body of an Ovation guitar. It was broken. It was fucked up. And I thought, one day, maybe I'll repair this. And there was, um... Water damage. Flooding. Related issue. And I believe whoever was cleaning up some of the stuff... ...threw out the guitar body. So, it's not a big problem because, I mean, the thing was in a fucking sorry state to begin with. What kind of picks do you prefer? Green turtle. Thickness? Uh, it's- it's Tortex. Tortex is the name of the pick. I'm very turtly for the turtle club. The ones I use are- I posted it on, um... On Shitter, hang on. Since we're having a conversation. I know we're trying to get into the mood of this game. So I'm- I'm not gonna- go too hard in, into the, uh, guitar territory. But, I want to show you... I use... these three. Mainly the greens. But, the orange and the blue have their uses, too. For different types of songs, different types of, like, uh, sounds to get out of your guitar. It's the Triforce, yeah. You can... These are, um... In Ocarina of Time. These Tortexes, yep. And someone said, just to answer one more guitar question, what would you recommend for beginners? Just get a... a Squire. Or, I mean, you know what? PV, Squire. I mean, even this, those are getting kind of expensive. But I would recommend just the most basic guitar possible. An electric guitar or an acoustic. Mainly, you know what? Acoustic with nylon's not too bad. But if you play electric guitar, it's a little easier to fret the strings. And it's a little less painful. Might be good for a beginner. 
do not buy an expensive guitar as your first guitar because that if you don't like it then it's just a decoration on your wall maybe you want that maybe you have some money to burn but i always recommend people buying some off-brand but decent starter kit guitar and if you get good at it or you like it and you know eventually like a year two years later you can tell that you want something different and you know that's what i did at least i don't know maybe maybe that would work for you a little rat fella. If this really is New Jersey, then that was the Jersey Devil. Who is also a crackhead. Tomato sauce. Gotta be paint. It's the other half of that mystery chat. Insta dark. Again, I'm just trying to picture myself actually exploring somewhere like this in real life. No. No, no. No. No, 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 no. Stay abandoned, I'm good, says a chat member. Yep. Oh, yeah, there he is. I wonder if he's got abandonment tissues. No, not you, chat member. I'm talking about that duende. I'm stuck. Chat, I don't know how to get out of here. Oh, God. And thus I emerge from the water fussy.
Someone just said sigh. I know. I know. Oh, man. You'll notice I was a little delayed there before emerging from it and saying that. Because I actually had like a little war in my head over whether or not I should say it. That war was like an eternity in my mind. Do you not have a flashlight? No. Pointing this way, as if there's a ghost here. A ghost. Penny, I did not write flashlight, I wrote something else. Oh, you're, you're talking about like the dune sandworm popcorn bucket. We have another key. I just have to find where that door is again. Did you get to keep it? No. The dune um, popcorn bucket was... They were using it at the Dune booth, like for their game, the Dune survival game, uh, for a raffle. And what you had to do, it was brilliant, honestly. What you had to do was fill out a, a, a ticket or just take a number, and then you had to put the number in the bucket. So everybody that, like, participated in this had to, um, get their hand in that in that popcorn bucket it was like rubber it wasn't it wasn't like as yeah i mean it, it was rubber I, I opened the we come door and nothing is happening. Wait, wait, wait. Hmm. 
Before you finish, there's another secret room you'll want to find. Well, I saw... I saw a red door. Isn't that the exit? It could be. Could you explain the plot a bit? You explore spaces. Hope that helps. Yeah, this keeps pointing this way. Just, uh, I'm gonna try to take note of these codes because I'd like to get into that secret room. Man, I don't get it. Secret code is pretty fucking hard. Couldn't figure it out, says a chat member. Chat, you want to take a screenshot of this real quick for me? Oh, there should also be a ghost here. Huh. Best filter. Okay, there was another secret code, too. And I don't remember where that was, but we'll, we'll keep searching. Could always scrub through the uh, timeline, too, you know? Could do some scrubbing, eh? Oh, this is different. I haven't seen this yet. Whoa! Duende! He jumped in! creepy lake. I wonder if, if I shoot the lake a couple times. What would happen? A lolly who lay low. Yes, Snake, I'm asking you to lay low for a while. You're wanted by 15 different countries. Oh.
that was I, I liked it. I liked the chat, but I'll tell you what, it had nothing to do with Resident Evil or this game. I liked the bit. Came out of nowhere. Not thematically accurate. What's objectively the worst letter of the alphabet? Premerald. People are saying Q. I mean, you can you can use like C or K to you know to get that sound like 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 um question. You could just spell it K W E S T I O N. <laughs> sure, it looks a little dumb, but I mean they're cluttering the alphabet. Someone said I think Q it can't stand on its own. Let me ask you a question. You know what? I say get rid of C and Q and just keep the K. And then add a new letter called Kremrold which has the sound of ch. So chase, but like it would look like, um, what would it look like? It would look like, um, Like that. I don't know. Here, let me try a different one. Let me try this one. Maybe it'll look like... Uh... Like that. No. Gotta be a better one. Um, looks like shit. Alright, we need it simple then. Maybe like... Um... Oh, it's just a backwards L. Mm. Well, that's just a CH. Mm. I like that. I like that. very educational stream. Alright, so we've got the picture of one of them. Now we need to find the other one. Um, chat, does anyone want to scrub through the timeline? <laughs> and show me the image of when I found that last one? Because I don't remember where it is. Oh. Look, 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 it's our, our, our friend Fruende. He was just lonely. I think that might be the exit key. No timeline because your VODs are off. Oh yeah, because I keep getting emails from Twitch saying you're playing copyrighted stuff. And therefore, you cannot, um, save your VODs.
Just happened again the other day. Just got an email from Twitch just like a couple days ago about the exact same issue. So this will be like an infinite issue. Exit. There's a new door here since you were last here. Okay. There's the other one. It's in the super dark area. I missed yesterday's rim stream because I had to go to work. Now I can't watch it. Uh, YouTube full sauce rim world. Someone said in the super dark area there's a new room or something. Gotta be honest, this is like kind of the last place I wanted to be. Is this here? Is it here? Dark area where you first enter the red light doorway. It's a shame you don't have the flashlight. There's supposed to be a flashlight. Yes, in the first level. Well, I, I got it when I played the game the first time. Oh god, I'm stuck in the nightmare cave again, chat. And for no reason, too. Got the thing. Vinny can have VOD, VOD still be public even with copyright. He's just too old to figure it out. No, it's it's more that I've pressed that button a whole bunch, but Twitch keeps resetting my settings. Let's see. It says here, um, copyright audio detected, uh, as a precautionary step to reduce your risk of receiving DMCA, your default stream settings were updated to store new VODs in an unpublished state for your review first. So it just keeps resetting. It, it does that. It's partially because, because I play, um, music during my BRBs. Oh, speaking of Dante. Dante is good. 1,072 posts. This gay jacket is real cool.
No, not that way. I'll figure it out, chat. We'll get there. Oh, they check it. Key door in bunker where liminal guy crawled from earlier. Code for it is in red RV on couch. It's so dark down here. Uh, five, five, three, seven, five, zero, maybe? Could be. Or, it's that other code. I don't know, I'm a little bit lost, but I think we'll find it eventually. Oh god. Yeah, the yawn is because I overslept. Because I'm still feeling, like, fucking weird. I'm feeling off. I don't feel, like, outright sick. But... Uh, yeah, something, something's a little weird. Could be Conrot. No, I haven't... I haven't been sleep-deprived. I've slept very... Very well, uh, well in fact. Yeah. Might be exhausted. No, something... It's weird. Not even really exhausted. I mean, maybe a little bit, but yeah, I don't know. Well, socially drained is a given, considering the convention, but I, I feel like there might be some rot lingering, but my body is fighting it. And as a result, I am like a little, like, off. I don't know if that's actually a thing that can happen, but that's kind of what it feels like. So, okay, where the... This is where the first... Where we first see the duende, right? Is this is this it? Sick way too much, bro. Well, I've explained it before. One, I feel like when I got COVID the first time, my immune system might have weakened slightly. Two, I'm in a room with Joe mixing and playing music, and he's got little kids. And if they get sick at school, he gets sick, and then I get sick. That sucks. That, and also, I am a pretty social person at times, and I feel like when I'm, you know, when I'm out, There we go. Um, you know, it's New York City. It's just, there's just too many fucking people here. Oh, here we go. Okay. Chat, what was that code again? I do take immune boosters, by the way. Five, five, three, seven, five, zero. No. Did I say that wrong? Oh, I did. Access. Allowed. Pizza? For me? Oh. Fuck? No. 
<laughs> oh, this is amazing. Hell yeah. It's my birthday now. Spin! Okay, good good Easter egg, good room. I enjoyed it. It brought it brought joy. Very scary. But I mean the door literally has an Easter egg on it, so I mean It's for fun. But there's a lot of Easter eggs in this game. Tone destroyed. No, tone decimated. But also more fun that way. Back to taking pictures of alien feet in the subway. I will say Nortz has some pretty detailed looking alien feet. I don't know why they went so hard with the alien feet, but they did. Also, man, that flashlight would have been so helpful. Chad, it would have been so beautiful. <laughs> Alright, I guess we're going this way. Trying to make a mental map of where I am. Is it pronounced route or root? I like route because it's more unique. Root is also another word. However, sometimes the word root instead of route just sounds a little bit better. Lever or lever? Either or either. This is why we need new letters in the English language. Okay, here we go. Let me see. So we've got, um...
Use the bottom code to decode the code up top. Eh. Hang on, chat. I'm, I'm making a mental... I'm making a mental note of this. that first zero is actually a different one. Check the bottom. So it'll be that. Um. I think, I mean, I'm going backwards here. I'm trying to decode this shit. I'm assuming the two is just a two. But I don't know. That is going to be circle, uh, square with dot in middle, and then eight. missing a number. I don't know if I'm doing it backwards. I think the two means the U is repeated. Could be. Could be. LD, you're a genius. Okay. Oh, okay, chat. <laughs> it's a full-on maze. The mini-map is helpful. Cool music here. Yeah, there's no way I would be able to do this without the uh, mini-map.
Mips, where did you go? Would you like to leave this maze? No. This rabbit is like japes. Just when you think you see the rabbit go a certain way, the rabbit disappear. Do you recognize the bunny? Um, no, if I can be honest. When you say do you recognize it, it becomes like familiar. From Hypnagogia? Oh, okay, that makes sense. This music is, like, perfect for this. Whimsical bunny maze music. bad. Huh! Navigate a strangely familiar maze. Maybe the maze itself is also from Hypnagogia. I'm not sure. It is. Oh, okay. That's a literal Easter egg. Kind of. Gaji or Gogi camera filter? <laughs> Gogi, please! Me? Hypnagaja. nice would it be to just spend all our time in that spot and not this place. We're here at any moment. You could accidentally bump into a rusty, like, piece of metal that's, like, falling off. Sorry, rotting off. Routing off. Innovative new flashlight technology. Speen flashlight. I really enjoyed this. That was quality free DLC. Mall. Well, we did this already. You you should, uh, if you haven't seen this game and you want to watch me play it, I mean, obviously pick it up if this interests you at all because it's actually really cool. It's 
but um Interior Worlds is the name of it. I have a playthrough of it on my Full Sauce channel. And it's just a really cool game. Listen, if the mall isn't playing Tears for Fears in, a, like, a fucking ton of reverb, it's not a liminal mall. But, let me check something out here. I don't know what these two things are down here. Any ideas, anyone? Secret Vine World and My House? Like My House dot wave? There's a real flimsy Steve song on YouTube, by the way. Really? Not dot wad, not dot wave. <laughs> Flimsy Steve. That's like a more pop version of Flimsy Steve. There's a lot of Flimsy Steve. Anyway, there, yeah, there, there are many Flimsy Steves on YouTube. But, alright, I don't know what those secret things are, but I enjoyed this regardless. Thank you for making it, Soda Raptor. Thank you for watching it, chat. And it was, it was good. The first level is a museum with more stuff to photograph. The last is a first person shooter Easter egg. You unlock them by getting all the aliens. Okay. That's neat. Well, we're going to play Final Fantasy up next. If you are so inclined to watch. We kind of left off on a bit of a cliffhanger, so should be interesting. Um, be back in about five minutes I kind of want to play a gorilla song now and get my VODs like super nuked I've played so many of their songs I don't really know which one would be a good one um, I kind of want to play something a little bit more like maybe something that that, that isn't normally played when you think gorillas Hmm. Actual gorilla noises. Could do that one. Uh, fire coming out of the monkey's head. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that one. Let's do that one. <laughs> 